Hi, groomers. This is Sammy. Sammy is a Shih Tzu, 12 years old. He can get kind of nippy sometimes, so I kind of have to watch him today. But this is going to be my first wet shave. As you can see, he's kind of matted here on the back. Uh, it's been chewing on himself. A little bit of flea allergy dermatitis. And yes, he was loaded with fleas. Hence, that's why his brother's in the bathtub there soaking in flea soap. Because when one's got him, the other one probably does too. So... I'm going to do the first wet shave I've ever done. So if this doesn't work out, Debbie, you're in big trouble because I'll be calling you. Anyway, I'm going to be using my um, new KM10 Clippers by Wall with a number five blade on it for the groom. Uh, it is a corded clipper. And I have it plugged in here to a outlet that is... GFCI um, approved because I've got a an adapter plugged into it and the clippers plugged into it. So um, it's a very I guess very important that you do that if you don't use a corded clipper. All right, so we're going to begin here. Let's see. I hope we can. There, I think we got a good view. All right, Betty. And you're okay over there, Buster. You're okay. Okay. Hey, Sammy. You all right, bud? Huh? Come on. He's an intact male, too, so it's another reason why he hasn't got a very good temperament. If he would have been neutered, that would have been so much better. Okay. Let's see how this works. I've never clipped a dog like this uh, wet. Um, never bathed a dog like this with mats on them. Um, I've been grooming 35 years, and I've always been taught from the very beginning that you never, ever bathe a dog with mats on them. For the simple reason, it usually makes them tighter. Uh, of course, this dog is not totally matted either to the skin. He's just kind of like matted on top from chewing on the fleas. And this is going really well, really fast. This is amazing. You can't see what I'm doing over there. So I'm on this side of the dog. Ooh, dead fleas, dead fleas. That's the only good flea is a dead flea. Dead, deader, and deadest is my opinion on fleas. I used uh, Bark to Basics Citrus Shampoo on him. Um, let it sit about 10 minutes, rinsed, and it seems to have done the job. I'm probably going to leave it set longer on um, Buster over there because his hair is much thicker. He's a black dog, and like I say, the only good flea is a dead flea. I do want them dead. Okay, now I'm going to try to come over there without blocking the camera. And get this side. This is awesome. This is not even a wall blade. It's an Oster Cryotech. Um, since I'm old school... I've probably got blades from back when I first started, which are the old, old type, just regular metal Oster and Andy's blades. This, this is great. Of course, this part up here is not matted. Um, over here. This is the matted part right here. I hope the camera's getting this. It's kind of hard to change the angle of the camera when you're busy. I love this clipper, by the way. It's quiet. I used to use, for 10 years, well, when I first started grooming, I used Oster A5. Well, see, I started out with Oster A2s. Then went to the A5 just shortly after that which was a huge improvement. We, at that time, 
we groomers thought that was a state of the art. Um, now I try to end this, Andy's. Um, anytime they fell on the floor, cases would bust. Finally went to the double K cable clippers, and which is a workhorse of a clipper. Used those for 10, 15 years, and nothing else. Hardly ever, ever had them into the shop. And unfortunately, though, the, the heaviness, the awkwardness of the cable, and having to reach out and turn them on all the time because I had them suspended from the ceiling. Um, this has done a number on my shoulders, and I decided to go to these. So. Anybody considering them, I highly recommend them. Um, they do have a five-year warranty on them, which is really, really nice. Most of your other ones only have one, one-year warranty. You're okay, Buster, honey. You just have to soak. we got to get those fleas dead. I have a little trouble getting back here behind his leg. This area. Five doesn't want to go through it. Probably ought to have went with a seven. But I hate to get him so short like that. He's so thin haired. Going outside with this pink skin and get sunburnt. I'd rather go with a five if I could possibly get that through it. Could scissor the really tough ones back here. And again, like I said, I'd be really careful because he's he's intact. This is awesome though. It is going really, really well. Except for where maybe I should have a little bit shorter blade. I, I probably will use a 10 around these privates. Inside the ears, which I haven't done yet. Instead, when I saw he had fleas, he just went straight to the bathtub. Whereas before I would have clipped him, all the fleas and hair would have dropped to the floor. And I would have had to spray the whole shop. So, I like this. If uh, I can bathe them, mats and all, killing the fleas, then clipping. He does have, there's a flea, it's dead. There's another one dead. Great, they're all dead. <laughs> we like that, don't we, buddy? We like it when they're dead. He's practically almost dry on top now. I'll still put him in the cage for a little bit of drying. Or use the HB on him. <laughs> okay. Got the majority of him done. Need to probably go on the chest a little bit, front legs, and then I'll switch to a 10 and do the rest. It's off. You're being really good, really good, Sammy. Good boy, Sammy. video is not that long. Otherwise it's gonna take me a year to get it uploaded. Okay Debbie, you're safe. I'm not gonna call you. <laughs> I highly recommend.